But that is the condition of the planet. How hot is it? How cold is it? How, how, you, how you are feeling it? Weather is a certain condition at a certain place and at a certain time. Like it's now cloudy at this place and at this time. There are different types of storms, however. There are like tsunamis and also the tornadoes. I have no idea where weather comes from. Weather comes from the sky. I think weather comes like when the sun is facing a particular direction of the earth. Like if the sun is facing Nigeria, Nigeria will be under summer or Hamatan. I think weather comes from the sky and maybe uh, some water bodies because it can't rain without any water. I know that the rain can come from the water cycle. We are learning every day. Hi, I'm Crispin. And I'm Crispinian. There's no better way to learn about the weather than to observe it and experience it firsthand. To find out how much rain falls where you live, you could make your own measuring device. A rain gauge. You will need an empty two liter plastic bottle, scissors, sticky tape, ruler, paper, pencil, water, stones, and a permanent marker. Carefully cut around the plastic bottle about two thirds of the way up. Place a few stones or marbles into the bottom of your bottle. This will weigh down your gauge when it is outside and keep it stable. Turn to the top part of the bottle upside down and place it inside the bottom part. It will serve as a funnel, directing rainfall into your gauge. Fix it in place with tape. Pour a small amount of water into the bottle until it just covers the top of the stones to create a flat starting point for the measurement. Use a permanent marker to mark the starting point. Place some sticky tape along the length of the bottle, starting from the marker all the way up, and using a ruler and use a permanent marker to make a mark every half centimeter from zero, the top of the water, to the bottom of the funnel. You can draw a line at every full centimeter and a dot at every half centimeter. And there you have it, your very own rain gauge. Find a place outside, in the open, away from any trees. Put your gauge. Check your rain gauge every day to measure how much rain has been collected. Then empty the bottle. Refill it back to the zero mark. Write down the amount of rainfall in your weather journal. Can you see a pattern over time? Let's go. Let's go. Science, you and me. Hey. Moving your body in any shape and form is good for you. You don't need a gym or equipment. Just watch and follow me. <laughs> Country Tanzania, we have a tribe called Makonde. They used to dance Gokwa years, years, years back. They used to dance for calling rain during the dry season. Now we know we cannot control the weather, but we can still dance Gokwa and have fun. Yes, try. Good. That's the movement number one. The movement number two, you go front, and you tap back, and you go back, you crab front. That's it, now it's number three. Number three, you just go back, go back, go back, hop. Go back, go back, go back, hop. Go back, go back, go back, hop. Go back, go back, go back, hop! So now let's all dance together from the beginning to the end. That 
was Ngokwa from Tanzania. Wow, that was really, really, really good. Try to do that every day. Until next time.